video, I will show you how you can use OWL casually in your Angular project. So, first of all, I will open a new tab and here I will type ngx OWL casual o. So, and you can see the link. So, I will open the link and you can go to the description. I will add the link also in description. So here I will scroll the page and in the right side you can see the installation command. So I will copy this command and I will open the Visual Studio code and you can see here in this terminal my project is running on local server 4200. So for install this command I will open a new terminal. So here is the terminal and the new terminal and here I will paste this installation command npm i ngx owl casual o and i will paste enter from keyboard to install this owl casual and it will take some time so for that we have to wait so guys here the installation is completed and now i will go to the browser again and you can see here is the one dependency that means when we use this casual they this is that depend on you can see it's depend on tslib so we have to install this tslib also so i will go to the tslib here and here you can see the tslib installation command is npm i tslib so i will copy this command also and here i will install this tslib also we can see that tslib is also installed and when you install any packages that are stored into the node module so here is the node module so i will go to the node modules and i will scroll the left panel so now you can find here the ngx owl casual low so So here you can see it's stored into the node modules ngx out causal low and you can see here so now we have to ins go to the browser and I will scroll the page and you can see here in the angular.json file I have to add the link of this CSS so I will copy this and I will open the angular.json file so here is the angular.json and in the style.css so here I will paste the link so this is the link you can see here I paste the link which I copied from the in package of ngx outcalls or low and again I will scroll and you can see here I have to import this causal module in our app module.ts so I will copy this and I will close it and next I will go to the app module.ts so here is the app module.ts and here I will add this import import line casual module and now again you can see in the import array I have to add this causal module so I copy this and I will scroll and here you can see this is the imports I so here I will paste the causal module and again I will scroll this and you can see I have to also import in our ts file 
so i will close the app model.ts and i want to run i will causal in home component.html file so in the home component.ts file i will write the import code here is the import code and again i will scroll a little bit so here you can see the export class so into the export class i have to add this code so i will copy this and here i will scroll and you can see here is the export class so now here i will paste below the ng on in it you can see here is the ng on in it so now uh, here i will paste this line and now here i will copy this and in the html file i will paste it and when we install any packages and after completed the all link of like style.css or js etc so after that we are to restart our local server so here is the terminal and you can see in this terminal our project is running on local server 4200 so now we have to restart our server so here is my project is running on local server 4200 so first of all i will close our server so i will press ctrl c to close or you can say terminate our server so so here is asking es or y for es and n for no so i will press y for es and again i will run this uh, my project on local server 4200 so the command is ng sub so it's compiled successfully and now i will open my project so in the first tab my project is running so you can see here is the slider uh but i didn't add any images so now i will add some images here so um, here first of all i will show in the assets folder i have stored all the images So here is the assets folder. You can see in the assets folder, I've stored banner one dot jpg, banner two dot jpg. These are two images. So I will add these two images in here. So the image source equals to dot dot slash and again dot dot slash and the assets folder and banner one dot jpg and i will copy this and i will remove this slider too so instead of slider 2 i will write here the image path so the banner 2 and again here banner 3 and control is to save and now I will go to the browser. So you can see here is the added. Sorry, it's missing because I I have only banner one and banner two dot jpg two images. So banner three is invalid image now. So I will add a banner one dot jpg and so. Now you can see there are three images. And now in the TS file, there mouse drag is false, so I will write a true uh, touch drag also true 
full tag true and dots is also true and here also one image and 40 is the screen size that means when our skin is size is more than 940 the pixel then it will show one image and when it's 740 pixel then it will show three images so now i will go to the browser so now our skin is more than 940 pixel so here is showing one images and you can see here the dot so you can see the images are changed so that means the owl cars they were working properly and you can also drag this so guys hope this video is helpful for you so if you like this video then please subscribe and if you want to get more angular video just play press the notification bell icon also